PLL on ESPN, presented by Champion. And welcome to the, the starting lineup powered by Ticketmaster. JT Giles, Chris Fake has a lot of history in college against Brendan O'Neill. Tremendous. They're all beautiful and so well done. It was a thrill to have Jeremy in the roots of this sport. Dana mentioned the old school. Knock him down, drag him out, face-off battle today. Erlin versus Weirman, two of the best ever at the collegiate level, and TD Erlin gets the first. Weir, former North Carolina Tar Heel. Here's Sam Hanley. Now it's O'Neill, 15 to shoot on the 52-second timer here in the PLL. Had an open man, Anderson couldn't find him. You know, it's interesting, he on the lefty. Well, let's monitor that throughout the game. When Notre Dame played Duke in the ACC Championship and blew him out, it was Conlon this season. Romar Dennis is on the board. In 2024, Romar Dennis, and that was a fastball for two. Redwoods, Romar Dennis was struggling in his first two outings, hitting the back in the early stages of the season. It's not just O'Neal as a rookie on this attack line, also Josh Sawada, his former Duke teammate, stepping in the creek. Tim Sudan can really build around, and you have the superstar and the absolute game changer with the ball right now on a short stick in Brennan O'Neal. He draws two, sets it up in Jack Kelly. It was a disaster. And they didn't just retool the roster, they. Change the entire franchise as part of the PLO going to home cities this year. There's a shot from Bundy. I like what. Redwoods maintain possession. Here's Charlie Bertrand running out of the midfield. Now Chris Gray playing midfield, more of a natural attackman. Coming out of the box and beautiful ball movement. On the finish, Ryder Garnsey on the setup, just as you'd expect. To Berg inside, and Berg's the type of player you can literally shoot the ball at because he can't. Need for California. Looking for their first win of the year. Losses to the chaos in the Atlas so far. Ferrara shoots. With Rob Pinnell against JT Giles Harris. Watch the question mark and the inside roll with Pinnell. He's so good around goal line extended. Here's Anderson. Native of Las Vegas, dodging down the alley and scoring with the right hand. It is critical for the midfield, for the Denver Outlaws to step up. As indigenous roots, he played for Team Haudenosaunee, like Dana said, twice. He was the defender of the World Championships. That's O'Neal's first shot. He's got nine back. When I was in high school, I did, yeah. How different was it? You just feel like you, you have an opportunity to make a little bit more mistakes when you're in attacking because the touches and the volume, right? You get more at times. Here's Bertrand. National champ at Virginia in 2021. That shot kicked away by McElroy, who's starting to... On the trail, it's a two. Shot was deflected. Jesse Bernhardt took the rip. Ryan Tarafinko on the pickup, rings the crossbar. Tevlin. Now it's Garnsey. Five seconds. Got a hustle. Just kind of throws it to an area. A lot of traffic in front. Very nice start to the season for TD. That's his career best mark so far in his fourth season. Anderson had the one goal for Denver in the first quarter. Kelly all over. point too. Like when you have a guy like Chris Gray, you rely on getting into the flow of the offense when you're going from attack to midfield. Good ball movement and a better save by Kelly. That's seven. Redwoods keep it here. Pinnell playing up top. Bertrand spins it through. Here's Degnan. Back to Pinnell, top of the key. Under 10 seconds left on the power play. Garnsey from a sharp angle. Manley got a piece. It could be challengeable, um, but now the, now the play is dead after that. All right. But I, I, I agree with you. There was, there was a, unless that ball hit the floor or someone else got possession, which it did not happen at that point. Oh, on the power play, the end pointer. Yeah. It's Graham Bundy, the rookie. One of the sweetest sh shooting strokes you will see. I mean, that is blistering. Violation. This is where Pacino is dangerous. Yeah, he's got some serious game. Both ends of the field. Manley with a <laughs> high rip. Kelly deflects it. Re Hanley, this is where he makes his money, dodging from the top. Against that short stick. I think that made it through to Kelly. Gergar picks it up. Did that sneak through? They say no. Oh, 
I think that's too hard to I overturn. I think they kept it out. Yeah. And a save by McElroy. Both goalies playing well in this first. Great to Pinnell. Matched up with Giles Harris. Will he go to the question mark? That's his signature. Behind the back, and McElroy has job of clearing out, giving Rob Pinnell plenty of room to operate, and that's where he's at his best around goal line extended. Tarafenko trying to get the hands free. Sets it up, and it's the Outlaws take the lead 4-3. to three. And Bundy dropped a two-pointer earlier. Josh Sawada, another rookie. A Division I record. You would have never thought you would see that. Here's Cross Ferrara on the dunk. Cage Cross goes airborne. Five in a row for Denver. The Zawada goal from attack, a non-O'Neal goal, loosens this defense up and gives stick. That's Will Hawes playing without a twig right now. Long looping pass, it's Dennis, and McElroy saw it all the way. Here's Zawada. Keep it below goal line extended. There's O'Neal with that lefty hammer. Backed up by Roy, man, he's been active today. Sean Scannoni still injured. McElroy getting a chance, making the most of it. Great ball movement. Zawada missed the net. Even on. What'd you hear in the Redwoods huddle? Specifically on the offensive end, John Grant Jr. addressing a, a, a lack of body language. Fix your body language. Be positive. You have to dodge to space. A little bit like that. Josh like Sawada that. on the finish, his second goal today. Well, California, they've got the lead, and they're doing it without Brendan O'Neill even having a goal in this game. Zawada's the Outlaws now on the power play, playing defense with the extra man. Expect to see them press out. Here comes Dennis flying out of the box. Lefty shot. He scored a two earlier today. Ten seconds left in this first half. No look feed. That shot misses from Dylan Gergo. He's 26. The one player I'd get on the outside that was Grant Bundy. How about O'Neal? Had his foot on the line. That shot was deflected. Why we haven't seen a lot of some of their midfielders. Like how many times have we said Garrett Degnan's name? We weren't even sure he was playing in the first quarter. Oh! A blip rocket. From the rook, Graham Bundy. Smith type shooters who could stretch a defense. Graham Bundy's shooting stroke is almost flawless. Neil, and they're still doubling him up. But he's giving opportunities for other players because of these doubles. There's quick Look at doubles. That. What a fake. Good save by Kelly. That was Jake. Sunday, two consecutive years, winning in 2022. And Runner-up season ago, losing to the Utah Archers. Two-pointer from Degnan. That's transition chance here for Denver. They blow the whistle for the over and back. Pacino starts the break. So what a shot saved by Kelly. El Cook. Can you get Giles Harris away from Pinnell? Can you set a screen, do something? They've done a nice job a few times giving a lot of space and clearing out a side for him. Great look, great. A, a missile from Ryder. He is on the board, and the Redwoods break the drought. Catch, cradle, release. First goal. Here's Cross Ferrara. See the attackman playing up top here for Denver. Hanley finds an open man. Bucket. It's Bundy, a hat trick for Graham Bundy, and he's talking that talk to Arden Cohen. He is putting on a shooting clinic from deep. This is the third hammer shot that we've seen, that, that basketball three-point threat. Let's go to Dana. Graham, you got a hat trick, you're putting on a shooting clinic. What's critical out there when you're trying to stretch a defense? Uh, my teammates drawing doubles. Um, I think Sam's done a great job. Good stuff, thank you. Thank he you. doesn't have to move much. It's yeah. like catch, <laughs> one step, let it fly. Almost. It's the beauty of it. Like a spot up shooter. But he. Order, visit ESPNplus.com slash PPV. Garden Cohen might be able to try out for UFC <laughs> after his performance today. Pinnell.
Would have been a one into the side of the netting. And you only have eight teams in the league. These guys see each other a lot. They start to get tired of each other. Burr, great catch. You know that's money. And he ends up in the goal. One on the crease. Just put it on the scoreboard. You know what's really interesting? Difficult for McElroy. This is a second great pass by Chris Gray. When he leaves his feet, he's right on top of the goal. Here's Pinnell. That draws a flag. Skip the pass. Bertrand. Shovels it right-handed. Dennis goes low! With the flag down. Bertrand, the offhand shovel. Skip. This gets wiped out. Oh, they feel like oh. there was interference by... Yeah. After review, good goal. And when you look at all this, Romar Dennis is starting to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of all, that's kind of the forgotten part. Look at Erlin. Started to feel it. TD Erlin. Looks like he's playing skee ball out there. Gets pressured. Out of desperation, is offhand. TD Erlin is a right. Three seasons in the PLL. Two goals combined. This year, three. Does Weirman have a response? Come on! Rolling <laughs> face off, guys. You having fun yet? And they're going to see Maryland when you don't pick him up at the point because you're more concerned sliding off these attacks. Where in the wire for us that. They're defending him. The Redwoods are kind of similar to the way Notre Dame does. And Garns, he's an assistant coach for Notre Dame. There's Ryder. Missed the shot. Manley got a piece of Has been almost using O'Neal and, and Sam Hanley as the initial Dodgers and knowing the quick slides are coming. No one picks up Tara Finko. Right down Alphabet. Outlaws back in front. his nails and does all the dirty work in between the lines but when you watch him play think about last summer in the world championships when he soaked a check from I think every Canadian on the planet at the end of the game to, to finish up that game kill the clock blatant Bert. disregard for his body there's Dylan Gergar got some space Kelly with the save kicks it away for his, uh, it all played against O'Neal at one point yes. in time in their career. Conlon had the assignment this past spring. Out of the box, there he is! Brennan O'Neal to the score sheet. Oh boy, we've seen a couple of these goals. O'Neal flying through the box, getting underneath with a face dodge. Multiple fake. Oh, he felt the pressure. Pulled the chair. Merle's two-pointer goes off of Giles Harris. That's the luck. Berg was 33 and white. Celebrating Indigenous Heritage Weekend. Zawada on the sweeping shot. Kelly makes another save on the rebound. Dalton Young couldn't catch. Playoffs. Made it to the semis. This year only six teams make it to the postseason. Berg, oh, that's his second time. Well. Stretch it from anywhere. Great move by Chris Gray. Oh, he catches iron again. It's a beautiful move by Gray and shot. He's going to stick with this matchup. See, he's getting the short stick. No, I mean, you mentioned the six goals. Two of them are two pointers. So they do have potential to hit from two with Romar Dennis. Hanley. Did he do that on purpose? No. It's Ferrara. He couldn't have. Gives Denver a three-point lead. Sam Hanley. It's for the Denver Outlaws offensively. Ball gets dislodged out of his stick. Out, put him at midfield and gave him a different look where he was able to run through the box. Full head of steam. To get his star involved in this game. Single digits on the shot clock. O'Neal. One more. it and Bundy. Hey. This is a joke to show on a ball carrier, and who do they leave open to Jason? He's never had a scoreless game in this league. Why isn't Romar Dennis on the field? He has two two-pointers today. You're down by four. I, I don't get it. 
wouldn't you put your bet this roster from a year ago and now the rookie influx got to be thinking some positive vibes if you're an outlaw fan anderson picks a corner in the way that you support matchups because going adjacent with these outside shooters like Graham Bun I mean he just lets it fly. We'll see if Pinnell can get on the score sheet here. At no angle there. This is a great turnaround and it's absolutely a testament to Tim Sudan and his staff and the players because as much as you have a, a rookie Influx more of that team, the JT Giles Harris's, the, the Mike Manleys of the world. And